All right, guys. So in this video, I wanted to react to 10 potential cities that could be due an NBA expansion team and what are their overall chances. This article being released a few months ago says Vancouver, Vegas, or Dakar ranking the candidates for NBA expansion cities and they do give a percent chance. So it is pretty detailed. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to review it, but just to give everyone some background, we would expect the NBA to expand by two teams in either 2025 or 2026, very likely going to Las Vegas and Seattle. It's almost a foregone conclusion. Nothing ever is 100%, but as you'll see with this article, it is very, very close to being a lock that Seattle and Las Vegas will get the two expansion teams. And then the question becomes, will we get a, relo a team relocating? Will we get possibly more expansion after that in the coming years? And could these cities position themselves maybe down the line five to ten years to be able to get an expansion NBA team? And at number ten, they do go with Dakar and give it a 0% chance of it happening, it's, it's not going to happen. They reference an NBA academy being built a few hours away. It, 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 there's just no way an NBA team would be there, but they do throw that in at number 10. Moving on to number 9, Nashville, Tennessee. So Nashville's been a hot city. They only give it a 5% chance of happening. We really haven't heard much dialogue about Nashville and the NBA. Nashville has been rumored in the past to possibly be in the running for an NBA expansion team. It's not surprising. They're a young, growing city. However, with what we're hearing about MLB expansion and Nashville being a 1A option, and, and with them already building a massive stadium, they're probably going to have to build a new ML, or they're definitely going to have to build a new MLB stadium. I don't think it's very likely. The only way Nashville becomes an option in terms of NBA expansion would be either five to 10 years down the line, or they would have to miss out on an MLB expansion team and pivot and try and beat out either Las Vegas or Seattle for an expansion team. It's very unlikely, but Nashville, you do have to give them a shout out in terms of potential NBA expansion options. At number eight, you do have Madrid, Spain, and they give it a 5% chance. It's just not going to happen. You know, M Madrid is obviously huge. They've got a ton of fans. The NBA wants to go global. Every sport wants to go global because you can bring in an absurd amount of new fans. However, the travel is just not going to work for Spain. It is an interesting idea, though, with how popular European basketball is comes in at number eight. At number seven, it is Louisville, Kentucky. So yeah, I would put this a little bit higher than Nashville. Louisville, good basketball place. Louisville University, they've got the KFC Yum Center. It's got a capacity of around 22K. It is legitimately the one college arena that I would consider basically on the pro level. Like it looks like an NBA arena from the outside. It just be it would be surprising based on how small their TV market is that they would actually get an expansion NBA team. I would also compare them to like Cincinnati, Ohio, possibly getting an NBA team. It's just uh, very unlikely. They say a 10% chance of it happening. Moving on to number six, it is Paris, France. They say there's a 20% chance of Paris getting an NBA team within the next decade. It seems very, very, very unlikely. The only way Paris, France would work is if you did some type of block scheduling where the team based out of Paris would probably play like eight or nine games at home and then they would travel to the United States to play eight or nine games and they travel back home. That's just not a competitive schedule, you know, when you do stuff like that. That's like the NFL expanding to Europe and grabbing a team. It just wouldn't make much sense in terms of the travel and also that team. They would probably face, you know, significant problems in terms of attracting free agents based on how much travel there would be. It would not be an attractive team to play for. So I, I don't. I think there's a 0% chance Paris is getting a team within the next decade. I'm surprised they would put it at 20. Moving out to number five, Vancouver. So Vancouver had the Grizzlies originally. They moved to Memphis back in 2001. They say there's a 25% chance. I don't see Vancouver getting an NBA expansion team within the next 10 years, so... Low percent chance. It doesn't seem likely. They already had a team move away from them, you know, semi recently. But Vancouver comes in at number five. At number four, it is Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So another team based out of Canada. We already do have the Raptors. They say there's a 30% chance of it happening. I think based on how big Montreal is, 
You can see it says Adam Silva recently mentioned Montreal as a possibility for league expansion, which does surprise me. I didn't even know he mentioned them. That, Of course, that doesn't mean it's going to happen or anything like that. I would be very surprised if Montreal got an NBA team, but it would be kind of cool to see another team up in Canada, and they do have the city and the TV market to support it. So they're at number four. At number three, they are going with Mexico City. They say there's a 50% chance in the next decade. I believe the team would have to be located in Monterey for this to work. The altitude in Mexico City is so crazy. I mean, I guess you do have the Denver Nuggets, you know, playing, and it's not a big issue, but Mexico City has an even higher altitude, about 2,000 feet higher than Denver, Colorado. So that would be a problem. You can understand with the amount of, you know, fans in Mexico, it would be huge for the NBA. There is kind of a crime problem down there as well. I think it would be a, an issue for the Mexico City based team to attract free agents just based on, you know, where the team is located. They give it a 50% chance. So they're insinuating that after this next round of expansion, Mexico City could be in line for either a team that's relocating or an expansion team. When it comes to relocation, maybe the New Orleans Pelicans, if they can't fund a new arena, maybe. I was going to say the Minnesota Timberwolves. I, it's unlikely with the Target Center. I'm trying to think of teams that might relocate based off of their arena situations in the NBA. But it would probably be the New Orleans Pelicans relocating to Mexico City. That would be down the line. This is just me throwing out what could happen. Or maybe Mexico City just straight up gets an expansion team after the league decides to expand again after 2025 or 2026 when we expect them to, t to bring in Las Vegas and Seattle. They've got Mexico City at number three. Crazy population density. You know, they would get make a lot of money there for sure. And they already do have like an NBA ready arena that they've played several games at you know, the Mexico City game. So they've got a relationship there. It's understandable. And then moving out to number two, it is Seattle, Washington with a 95% chance to get the Supersonics back. Not surprising at all. Very likely will happen again in either 2025 or 2026. They did renovate the Supersonics old arena. It was virtually a complete rebuild. It cost a billion dollars for the Seattle Kraken, the new NHL team. And looks like Seattle is also going to be getting a new NBA team. I would expect the Supersonics to be part of the next round of expansion. And then number one. Everyone wants to go to Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas with a 98% chance of getting an expansion team. I would say, I would probably put it at 99. And then for Seattle, I would probably say around 90. That Those would be my odds. I would up Vegas 1%. Like there's no way Vegas doesn't get an expansion team. The only question is, will they build another arena there? Because they just built a newer like NHL slash NBA arena, the T-Mobile arena in Las Vegas, and it could very easily host both the Golden Knights, which is the new NHL team, and the Las Vegas, whatever the NBA team is and ends up being called. It could very easily host both of those, but there's the idea that they might build a private campus-style arena that has like its own casino, its own movie theater, its own shops, around $10 billion with a brand new state-of-the-art NBA arena. That's the question with that. We know Seattle is not going to be building a new arena. They're going to, you know, they've renovated theirs and the NHL team would share it with the NBA team. But with Las Vegas, it might be a little bit different. When it comes to who owns these teams, especially Las Vegas, there's going to be so much demand in terms of ownership of this Las Vegas-based NBA team. So we would just have to see on that. But certainly, Las Vegas and Seattle very likely are getting teams. If it's not Seattle, you could argue maybe Mexico City based on the prior relationship that NBA the prior relationship that the NBA has with Mac the prior relationship that the NBA has with Mexico City I do think the dialogue will immediately shift to Mexico City once Seattle and Las Vegas are announced if they are the next expansion teams everyone's going to be wondering does Mexico City get a team via relocation? Does the NBA look up in Canada, maybe at Montreal, maybe back to Vancouver? That would surprise me personally, but either way, you also do kind of have your smaller markets like your Louisvilles, like your Cincinnati's, who I'm sure would love NBA franchises. It's just very unlikely at this time, but either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.